In plasticity, it's really easy to form objects or curves onto a object that has a singular face, but it took me a little bit to figure out how to do the same deform command on an object that has multiple faces. So in this video, we'll go through exactly how to do that. Create a new file. The new file has the default cube. We're going to take the cylinder tool and we're going to just cut a cylinder straight through it. And then I'm going to take the edge tool and I'm going to bevel the edges over here. So to begin, we want to do a unwrap command on each of these. I'm going to just move it over here on the, on the right. We also want to do it with this one, unwrap, move it over here, and one more. So just to um, basically explain, unwrap takes this and flattens it and gives us a reference plane that we can then later deform back onto it. So if I just change the pivot here and I can move it so that I can snap these all together. I'm going to go to the top view. I'm going to create a rectangle and we can just do a simple line like this for now and I'll extrude it up. So if I were to take this and deform it, I could choose the reference plane like the middle and then I could choose where I want it to be deformed to. And you can see it, it works for the center plane, but it doesn't continue onto the side planes. So I'm going to just go back. Uh, the way we need to do this is we actually need to split this, this object into multiple objects. Uh, so then we can deform this piece, this piece, and the center piece. So to do that, I'm going to create a line. And I'm going to create another line. And we're going to click the object. Click C for the cut mode. I'm going to cut it once, cut it twice. And now we have three objects. So with three objects, I could do what I did before with the centerpiece. So I'll click deform, click the reference, click the side. We want it to be deformed on and we'll do, just do the same here. And you can see it's working out perfect. So let's do the last one. And now we basically have a surface that's perfectly, um, perfectly aligned and smooth with uh, where we want it to be. We could obviously uh, bevel from here if we wanted, or if you wanted to keep them feeling like a, one singular object, I usually select them all and click QQ to Boolean them, uh, Boolean union, so then I can work with it however I want as one solid object. Uh, all right, so there's also the ability to do curves if you wanna cut into something. So I'm gonna just take this, uh, this shape that we have, I'm gonna move it down so it's actually gonna appear further down here when we deform onto it. And we basically also need to cut this. So to, to do that, we're gonna take this shape, we're gonna click C twice, I believe, to get to cut curves. Let's see if we can get that going. Sometimes I need to select it from here. Okay, we did it once. Let's cut the curve one more time. Great, so now we have three curves and I can actually delete these cut objects. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I'll do deform, choose the reference, choose where it goes. Again, deform. And here, instead of doing a Boolean union, I could do a uh, join command. And we could do something like select this object, click imprint with shift I, and then choose a surface, then go to normal, click OK. And now if I just take this line, I delete it, we can now extrude from that surface or, ex or um, extrude inward. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Uh, I hope this helps with whatever you're doing. Uh, if you liked it, drop a subscription or a like or leave a comment. Thank you.